Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing some more polishes from my untried bin of polishes that I shared with you in a video back. So today's brand is called Cupcake Polish and honestly guys, for a brand that I've never tried before, I am so pleased with this brand and I'm so glad that I did pick these up when I did. I will make sure to have her shop linked down below so you can check out all the other beauties that she has in store. If you'd like to see more in regards to these polishes, keep on watching. Alright, so the first polish from the brand called Cupcake Polish that I will be sharing is called a Berry Good. So this is a like this is a fuchsia linear hollow to me very very pretty as you can see it's quite sheer with the first coat so I'm definitely gonna have to build this up but you do get really good coverage so this is very good with the second coat and as you can see it's a lot more opaque than when I went in with that first coat which I really love so I'm going to leave it at two coats. I mean, it's up to you if you really want it to go in with a third coat. But honestly, I find like the second coat really gives it the vibrantness and really shows the true color of this stunning polish. And it's really opaque and had really good drying time in between coats. As well. And here we have very good looking in just two coats such an amazing color. Like look at how vibrant this is. I love it love it love it love it and this one is called dusty romance so this one to me is a rose colored mauve it is another linear hollow and it does have some like flecks of silver shimmer throughout so this one was also a limited edition polish so like for sure for sure unless you were part of the hella handmade customs group on facebook i think the name has changed since then but i will link it down below for you you wouldn't have been able to get this and this was from 2018 so when i say i need to try and get through that bin that i showed you guys in my last video i really mean that i need to get through it guys so yeah 2018 <laughs> Here is Dusty Romance in three coats. So, so beautiful. Honestly, that third coat really helped to give it the opacity that I was looking for. And even when I shift it, you can see like the hollow in the straight line going up and down the line, the nail. So that's why it's called a linear hollow. It is so pretty. I don't usually lean towards like dusty mauve colors like this, but this one, definitely, definitely, I'm so glad I picked it. And this is Dusty Romance Against My Skin Tone. Lovely, lovely rosy mauve color. Again, usually I don't reach for colors like this, but I could definitely see myself wearing this. It is so pretty. Up next is Freshwater Magic. Look at how sparkly that is, especially out of focus. guys this is so beautiful so this is a lilac linear hollow i'm seeing some blue shimmer through it and i'm seeing some like gold hollow micro glitters so so beautiful again it is sheer so i'm finding so far with the three polishes that i have tried is that the first coat is really sheer And here is Freshwater Magic at three coats. Again, this one is really, really stunning. That third coat really helped bring the true life to this color. And it gave it just what I was looking for in terms of coverage and opacity. So again, depending, you can go in with maybe two heavier coats and get away with it. But because I do do thinner coats, sometimes the polish will need three. But sometimes you can easily get away with two. Again, another beauty. And here's Freshwater Magic against my skin tone. So this one and Dusty Romance needed three coats to be fully opaque. 
but once we got them there like even look at this one it is so amazing like you can't even see my nail under this it is beautiful and the second last polish I will be sharing with you is called lay me down bright purple linear hollow and there is some blue shimmer to it of course i love it it's purple guys like come on come on it's so pretty again it is a bit sheer but i do find that compared to the last three with the first coat this one isn't as sheer so i feel like maybe it'll only take two Here we have lay me down in two coats so i really was correct i didn't need three coats with this one this one built very nicely with two coats and i am loving it now that my daughter's um home from school because they obviously can't go back here in toronto yet they close down the school until at least february 19th i think and she keeps asking me to do her nails so i'll see if i can persuade her into letting me use this color on her and here is lay me down against my skin tone of course you guys know i'm gonna love this color it's purple i genuinely believe purples can do no wrong like and every time i see a purple it's like oh i need to have it i don't care it's purple i love it hands down no arguments and the last polish for this video is called mary So this one to me is like a cool toned pink. I want to say that I'm seeing some like purpley undertones to it and this is another linear holographic polish and I'm seeing some like holographic micro glitters as well. So amazing. I will say that I actually didn't think I was going to like this one as much as I do. So this is one coat. Again, you'll see like the sheerness that I'm talking about. So I'm definitely going to go in with a second coat. Oh, this one too guys oh my gosh so this is Mary with two coats and as you can see it built beautifully with that second coat I'm not gonna go in with a third coat I don't see a need for it again it's entirely up to you but like I'm getting really good coverage here with this second coat and it is just so stunning that second coat really brought this color to life and lastly here is Mary against my skin tone so gorgeous like this is such a gorgeous color and this was one of the other ones that only needed two coats so out of the five that I shared with you today three of them were two coaters and only two of them were three quarters so that's not too bad and here we have it for the five cupcake polishes from my personal stash that I had to share with you today Honestly guys, for a brand that I haven't tried before today, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. Like the colors are pigmented, the hollow pigments are strong. I can definitely say like I don't have anything like these colors in my collection. I do have quite a few hollow polishes, but nothing in these range with a variety. So I was really, really glad that I picked them up. And honestly, I think if you can get your hands on them, if you're into like just regular nail polish that isn't gel polish definitely try to see if you can get some because i know some of them are a bit older but again you might find them on some these stash um facebook groups or anything like that so i will see what i can find and i'll have them linked down below for you let me know what your thoughts are on these colors is there a favorite which one can you see yourself wearing make sure to let me know as always guys thank you so much for sticking around with me and watching my videos please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified when I post more content. If you have any questions and or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Until the next one, stay glamorous.